was good like what like you. When Christ like became a man, was he? Was he? he did not because become a no European. Because there's no color. Color belongs to us, man. When Christ became a man, we Christians believe he became a Palestinian Jew. Oh, so now God was a Jew, yeah? So what about the Muslims and what about the Buddhists it and all that? It is a characterization so, well, of Muslims racist. like this that Christianity is racist. Yes, it is. But you look, look at the you words of the their prophet you will, you went to the that describes the devil you as a black you, man. You killed all the Philippines. Let's look at the words of their you prophet killed all the Native Americans. that describes the Indians and Indians you killed all as the raised in hell. That is their let's prophet. Have, let's have a debate. Their prophet was a man who sold black slaves. You wouldn't dare to debate. Who justified the selling of black they come out with these kind of rhetorical nonsenses. Your religion is racist. Why can't you Your religion is racist. And they throw out these phrases thinking that the rest of you are ignorant. That's why Jesus is And that is why they do it. However, to those of us that have taken the time to study, yes. notice how they yeah. walk away. Yeah, because you're shouting. They man. throw shouting the accusations, the they shout at Christians. You're not debating. You're but not when debating. they challenge, you're not debating. They are you're not debating. To justify their Wait, words of their okay, prophet, would you debate with him? they walk away. Would you debate away. with him? Would you debate with him? So let me talk about Christianity. Okay, go ahead. Let go me go talk go about go Christianity. Go Tell us how it was a white Christianity man. Christianity is not a white man's religion. What is it? So if why was he a white Christian? Why did he come in a white man's Put your hand up. Why did he come blonde and blue white? Christianity is for white people Why is Jesus on the cross blue Why is Jesus? No! Why no one put their hand up. Where was Palestinian man? There you go. Yeah, you have you. been silenced, sir. No, what? Because you are what? dealing in anti-Christian stereotypes. No, I'm not. Really? I'm because that is all you have. Anti-Christian stereotypes. How can God be a common currency? Why can't it be a mother? Amongst Muslims. You answer. I no. said, why is God a son and can't be a daughter? Let me ask you me. can't answer. Let me reverse. Said, Let me deal with the question. I said, God was a Jew. I said, why, why, why can't it be a Buddha? Let me deal you see, with the question. No why don't you answer his question? You can't answer no question. I'm trying to. Why? No, but you're he's never. too busy talking. No, no, you're busy to shout. Are you shout. done? You're busy shouting. Do you want an answer? Are you done shouting? Do you want an answer? If you're not going to shout, yeah. I'm going to shout yeah, to all yeah. of these I people. Got a, uh, excuse me, I need an so, answer. Why is your God? Why is your God blind and you are blind? Of the Muslims at the corner, one demands an answer. You try to give it to them, and why Jesus is white and white? Why do they do it? Because it was Palestinian. Why is it so black? Go to Palestine. Why is it black? You didn't listen to what I said. Why did you ask that? Did you say the Jews in Palestine? Jesus is white. Yeah, you said he was a Jew. Did I not say that Christ was a Jewish Palestinian? Hey, but and he was olive toned in skin. So you believe? Everyone heard that. But you, so, and you know why you didn't hear it? It's because you were too busy shouting. No, you're you're busy shouting. You answered your questions, and then you just continued just to said shout. Jesus was a Jew. So no. God is a Jew. He asked the question. Oh, God is a Jew. He asked the question. Why do we describe God as Father and Son? We describe God as Father and Son. Because that is how God has described himself in the apostolic teaching that we find in the Bible. How many versions of the Bible do you have? One question at a time, sir. How many versions of the Bible One do you have? One question at a time. Now, he said, well, that's sexist. Why can't be God be described as mother and daughter? Well, he's established the Did principle. the Bible come in English? One question at a time, Did the time, Bible sir. come in English? Notice he doesn't want to listen to Notice the Notice how you're trying to fool the people. Do you want to hear my answer? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Do you want him to shut up for a yes. second? Notice he walks away. Yeah, that is the answer of the Dawa team. Time and time again in the corner. So he established the principle. Did the Bible come in English language? Masculine language 
to the Bible God in English God language is sexist. Do you have the original so Bible? Let me take that Do you have the original Bible and beat him over the head with it? Do you have the original Bible? Because Allah Do is destroyed. Do you have in the original the Bible? Solely you in said, masculine no, hold on, hold on. terms. Hold on, hold on. Is the Allah ever described in the feminine? Bro, just hold on, calm no. down, bro. Calm down. I want to talk to you. Do you want him to hear? Answer my question. Yeah, listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Answer my question. Listen. No. Answer my question. Well, you have to listen to us. And answer. I will. Is Allah described in the Quran using feminine language? Yes or no? No. Right. And it's not so masculine. By either. your logic. And it's not masculine. Either. By your logic. And it's not masculine. Allah either. is sexist. No, it's not. And it's not masculine. Either. You're lying. No, I'm not. You're lying no, to I'm these not. people. Don't get anybody that speaks Arabic. I will. Me. Here's why he's lying. Here's why you're lying. Because <laughs> Arabic, like French, does not have an indefinite hold on, hold pronoun. Hold on. You said in the Bible. There is no. Hold on. Hate. Hold on. You said in, in the Bible. Arabic, Everything hold on, is hold masculine on, hold on. or female. Please, answer this question to me. So when he said it's question. not masculine the, either, the, he lied. The, the, he's lying a lot, bro. He's lying a lot. Is Allah described as a he or a she? No, 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 no. It's not a he as a male. No, he. 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 Well, you said he. That. No, you said so that. this There's Muslim no, disagrees with this Muslim. Fine, I'll take the correction. I'll take the correction. But Allah is described as a he. He is wrong when he says it, it isn't. Knowledge. But is it the he male? He is wrong. But so one male Muslim is corrects another Muslim. Is it the male he though? So according to this Muslim, is it a male Allah he? Is now a sexist. <laughs> Allah is now a sexist. No. What was your other question? About the Bible. Yes. You said in the Bible. God describes himself as father and son, isn't it? Yes. Do you have the original Bible to show this? Okay. So we ask the question. Do we have the original Bible? No, you don't. I'll answer for you. So he doesn't want to listen to an answer. Do you know that? I know the answer. You don't. I you said that answer. about the Trinity and then you got it wrong. No, I didn't get it wrong. I was yes, you did. The Trinity. You said God became Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Yeah, because you made him Father, that Son and Holy Spirit. That is not what we believe. Yes, it is what God has always been Father, so Son and Holy Spirit. So where does it say Spirit? that? Where does it say that? If you're a Christian, put your hand up. Uh, look, right. Yeah. Now, yeah. Yeah. question. Yeah. Keep your hand up. Keep your hand up. This is to show how ignorant this Muslim brother is about our religion. Put your hand down <laughs> if you believe that God became Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Don't put your hand down. You, you see, <laughs> none of them put their hand no, down. Because they don't You're an down. ignorant man. You made him wrong. in stereotypes your Bible made about the Christian son. faith. Your, your Bible. No. Your different no. Do you want them. me to answer your question? You have you have an about the Bible. Yes, no, no, Will you shut up a minute no, then? No, you can carry on, mate. Right. Yeah, carry on, mate. He's not going to shut up. You're not debating. He's not going to shut up. He's going to head off. No, you're not this is what we have to deal with all the time at the corner. Well, I'm standing here by myself. Just need a drink of water. No, 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 he's preaching. No, no, he's preaching. He's trying to. He's preaching. He's trying to he's so, hand off of he asked us. Come on, bro. Do we have the original Bible? Yes or no? Let's just unpack this question for a moment. Yes or no? Come on, man. Let us unpack this question for a moment. Yes, with. Because the Bobby, question the the argument, is right? based upon a false say. premise. Yes. Stop asking the crowd for support. It's based upon a, upon a false premise. Uh -huh. If you read the New Testament carefully, which I don't, it, uh, clearly you don't, yeah. and neither does this guy. I'd be surprised if he's ever picked one up. I have to trust me. I'll so, the Bible. I bet you do. I don't right. Read it if you read the New Testament clearly, the beliefs that are described in the New Testament clearly exist before the New Testament itself. If you don't believe me, you see he's not listening. I'm listening, I'm If listening. you don't believe me, go and read the first chapter of Luke. It what says, it say? who is Luke? I'm going to quote what it, one it second. <laughs> one second. What does it say? People will have no second it name. Says. It says. Yeah, what was his second name? What was Luke's what? second name? One question at a time. Okay, he's so eager to get off the topic. Say, yeah. When you open the so what do you eager. say? What he say? And he's not bothered oh. to listen. So, in the first chapter of Luke, yeah. it says that I have seen it fit the Theophilus to collect together those accounts that you have come to believe. 
that from the first were handed down by eyewitnesses and that others have made an account of. What does this tell us? It tells us that Christians were making written accounts of the life of Jesus before the Gospel of Luke and that what Theophilus believed about Jesus, he believed before the Gospel of Luke was written. Meaning that our beliefs as Christians are not dependent upon the Bible. The Bible is dependent upon the living community of the church that gave birth Corruption. to the Bible. So anyone can corrupt it then, so, isn't it? Let me deal with your point, sir. You're preaching. Patience. But no, 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 to listen, you just said and you any just said, answer. You just came out of your own mouth. You just his argument. You just said it yourself. He doesn't want to listen to. Yeah, but you you don't want too to much. listen. So you don't want to answer either. Coming yeah, to it. the question, you don't want no one of the you original only want Bible. To listen to you. What is you the Bible? You only want us to listen to you, isn't answer it? Answer the question. You only want us to listen what to you. What is the Bible? You only want us to listen to you. Answer the question. You only want us to listen to you. Do you want to hear yeah. him? Answer the question. Hold on, hold on. Yes. 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 He yes. can yes. hear you. Stop, stop hopping. Stop yes. hopping. Do you want him stop to answer hopping. my question? Stop hopping. Yes. Yes. Hey. Stop hopping. Oh. Answer my stop question. Stop hopping. Genius. Stop hopping. Genius of Christianity. Tell me, what is the Bible? No, you're the genius of Christianity. What is the Bible? I'll ask you many questions. Oh, what is the Bible? You just said about the Bible. One. Hold on. What is the Bible? The Bible is a sex. Hold on, bro. The book of the sex. I what is the Bible? You just said the Bible depends on the community. What is the no? Bible? That mouth. is what I said. What yeah. is the Bible? So, so anyone can correct What is the Bible? Is correct? Yes or no? What is the Bible? Hold on. The community. You see, Hold on. If I give my phone, you see, if I give my phone to the whole community. If I give my phone over, then the script yeah, he, 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 learned he learned in the mosque. He learned a script in the mosque. And that what? is why but he can't it's engage it's 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 in a conversation. I'm the one looking in your eyes. I'll ask you again. You're looking in my eyes. What is the Bible? If I told you this was the Bible. If I told you this was the Bible. What is the Bible? What is the Bible? Answer. What is the Bible? What is the Bible? What is it? What is it? All right. Thanks. And he's going to shut up. And he's going to answer the question. What is the Bible? You just said the Bible depends on the community. If this was the Bible and I gave it to everyone, can they corrupt it? Yes or no? Debate. Yes or no? Did anyone hear an answer to my question? Running away. Running away. And I'll tell you why they do that. Why, Bob? Because the Muslims who do dawah here in the corner, they learn a script. They learn a series of questions. Can you make a sensible debate? A series of questions. I challenge him to have to make a sensible debate. You take them off that script. He's a nothing. He's a friend. I will I will shortly. I will shortly. He's preaching. He needs to, to stop his being rude. He's with you. They're with he you. He needs to stop being, being rude. You don't need to preach on here. Tell so, Christian, it is important that we learn to defend and then with your faith. And it was your guy. Looks like me. And by learning and to defend like our me. faith, we learn the answers to the script that they are using and you take them off the script because once you take them off the script as you can see they are shooting blanks and they run away <laughs> the problem in the church is that too many of our fellowships do not teach apologetics and polemics from the pulpit the problem is that too many of our fellowships teach an emasculated 
effeminate, weak Christianity that is conflict of us and dare not stand up for itself until Christians rediscover the kind of chivalry that led knights into battle against jihadis during the medieval jihads against the church, we will continue to lose this struggle. Christians, you need to challenge your religious leaders to become better than they are. They need to deal with the challenges that our community faces as Christians. They need to be able to cultivate the body of Christ into that kind of community that can stand up for itself, take on the Dawah team, take on the Islamists, take on the communists, take on the liberal progressives. And that means that we as Christians have to become used to being persecuted again in the West. We have to have that devotion to martyrdom that early Christians once had. Don't believe me. Don't think that it can happen here. Go and look at the life of Nisa Hussein, a Muslim who became a Christian in Bradford, England. And the Muslims tried to burn his house down and then they tried to murder him in the streets. That happened in the UK. Another Christian who recently converted, I forget his name, the white guy, was it Joseph? I think his name's Joseph. Muslims tried to murder him in the UK for becoming a Christian. And do you know what the political class did in this country? They said it was too hot a topic to touch and they wanted nothing to do with it. The police told these two individuals, we cannot do anything to protect you. You just need to move out of the area. That's happening in the UK. And what do the bishops of the Church of England concern themselves about? They concern themselves about whether we should have liturgies to celebrate transgenderism. <laughs> when you have leadership like this, your community is doomed. We need better leaders in the church. Leaders who will speak up for the concerns of the Christian community. Leaders who will galvanize and organize and train and mobilize the Christian community to resist Islamization, to resist liberalization, to resist the persecution of our brethren. That is what we need, and that is what we do not have. The state wants weak Christians. The Muslim Dawah team and the Islamists want weak Christians. We need strong Christians. We need a church that verberates with the masculine energy, with the masculine vigor and conviction that we will defend our own, that we will stand up for the triumph of the church and the cause of our own people. And that means we need better bishops. You need, yeah, questions. take questions. He's got, he's got, he's got a question, Bob. Question. He's been heckling. No, I said you said you need muscles to invade countries like Iran. Yes. 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 So, 
Let's talk about Iraq. You send, you send. One second. You send. One second, sir. No, Let no, me no. deal with your question. Okay. Okay. Let me deal with your question. One second. Let me deal with your first question. This happens all the time. They ask a question and then they don't want to listen to the answer. He asked the question about do we need Muslims in Iraq? Yes, we do. The Christians of Iraq are the victims of a false god that dominates the politics of America and the United Kingdom. The God of national interest. Notice the heckling. Notice the heckling. Asks a question, can't listen to the answer. So, the Christians of Iraq are struggling for an independent state or an autonomous region in the Nineveh Plains of Iraq. The Christians of the world need to help them to establish that independent state or that autonomous region by pressurizing our governments to establish that internationally. And if that requires forcing the Iraqi government to acknowledge an independent or autonomous region for Christians in the Nineveh Plain, then that is what we should advocate. I agree. We need for Christians in the Middle East, yes, we need for Christians to have an independent state in the Middle East. And the most likely place to do that is Syria, a place that is already a wreck. The international community can impose an independent state for Christians in Iraq where those Christians can control their own economy, their own politics and most importantly their own security because the governments of the Middle East are not guaranteeing the security of our brothers and sisters like the president of Nigeria is not securing the rights of Christians in northern Nigeria who are being religiously cleansed from northern Nigeria by one second bro. northern Nigerian Christians are being butchered butchered brother one second they are being butchered by jihadis and too many Christians are ignorant, apathetic, or clueless, or a combination of the three. We need imagination, conviction, courage, determination to do what is necessary to defend our brothers and sisters in northern Nigeria. And if that means forcing Trump, forcing Putin, forcing Macron and Theresa May to impose their will on the Nigerian government, then that is what we should advocate. The jihadis must not be allowed to go unchallenged. The reason why there has been a rise of alt-right politics around Europe is because of the failure of the church to stand up for itself, to be a bastion of its own identity. No. Let someone else ask a question, sir, and then I'll come back to you. I want to ask. I want to ask. Just a minute. No, no, no. no you want to ask a I want to ask. You, a question. you don't dictate answer. this. Sorry, I want to ask a question. You did not My answer. Question is did anyone hear me answer his question? No. You did not I want to answer. answer. Go on. 
who can utilize this place on behalf of the people of Iraq? Stop being a wimp and speak up. No, okay. I so, go from Iraq and I have the right so, to uh, speak on behalf of my own people. So what I'm saying, and I'm asking you this, that as you said, in that country, what you country are you saying? Nigeria, question. Syria, Iraq. Right, now, in Syria, what they should be given the right to have their own community and have their own community there. So the Nigerians in North Nigeria only get what I've just said. North Nigeria only should be allowed to have their own determination in North Nigeria only, and the South should be as it is, predominantly secular and Christian. Let me let me deal with that question, and then I'll come back to you, sir. So let's talk here about the situation in Nigeria where Christians are being butchered as we speak. Whilst we are talking right now, there are Christians dying in northern Nigeria. So what can we do? What should the Christians of Nigeria do? They need to organize, they need to mobilize, they need to train and they need to resist. And those churches need to form alliances with the Christians across the world to deal with the cause of the martyrs of North Nigeria. The Christians of Nigeria need to abandon the prosperity gospel and that nonsense theology that uses up so much of their time and so much of their resources and so much of their energy and leaves them to be destroyed by an enemy that does not care about prosperity teaching. It cares about using political power to impose Sharia and to turn them into dimmies. And the Christians of southern Nigeria and of Nigeria in general need to deal with the real issues that they face and to abandon those pastors who teach this erroneous teaching of prosperity gospel, which is nothing more than a con. It's a pyramid scheme that makes the pastors rich and impoverishes the people that believe in it. Perfect. And my appeal to you Nigerian brothers and sisters is to get real with what is you are really facing in Nigeria. Stop defending the most ridiculous teaching the church has ever seen and instead develop a theolo theology of liberation that is based upon liberating your brothers and sisters from persecution. Your words, not mine. Yeah, and your, your words, sir, not mine. back to your question. Your words, not mine. Well, now's your chance to come back. Yeah. And that's what you don't understand. Let him answer the question. Let him ask what you don't understand. You cited, you cited the Christian issue as no, no, these people need to, for they need to be like you invasion know. of Iraq, and that is not right. Done away with First, I don't know who gave you the right to speak on behalf of the Christian of Iraq. Because he's I a racist. Am, because have, he's a Christian. No, 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 no. That's what Christians do. I am Iraqi, do. and I have the full right to speak. And that my country was invaded by yes. Christian born again, yes, criminally. By a, a, a secular was, government called and, the United and, States. And that was and really, Christian that's right, religion that's right, and killing among the whole Iraqi people, when you, you're Muslim one, and non-Muslim, and the Christians. So I reply to so, you. So the Christians really were victim to the invasion I said exactly that. Okay. You didn't but, listen, I said exactly no, that. No, no, you didn't say you that. Weren't no, you weren't no, listening. You no, weren't listening. No, no. What, a, what a surprise. No, you weren't listening. No, no. I said exactly that. No, no, you didn't say that. No, you didn't listen. No, you didn't say that. 
I did say that. Well, what's your question, sir, so I can reply? Do you agree in Medic Iraq is a criminal thing to do? Absolutely. So why you are calling them to for jihad? Because the Christians of the Middle East have been failed by the governments of the Middle East. The governments of the Middle East have not ensured the security of Christian minorities and therefore we need to relook at the situation in the Middle East in a way that allows those Christians to guarantee their own economic, social, political security. That is why it is the right of every people to have security. And when governments fail to give it to them, they have the right to secede from that government. Exactly. And the like, do as well. like the, the brave, do as well. like the, the brave Christian of southern be Sudan and they should be seceded from Nigeria, the government not of Khartoum as an example and that to persecute Christians right. that's around the world. The world. Like the Christians of East Timor. Religion, religion, religion. Like the Christians of New Guinea who are fighting for independence from oppression by the government of Indonesia. Like the Christians of Burma, the Karen, who are fighting for independence from the Buddhist government of Burma. Christians have the right to defend themselves where their governments will not guarantee their security. I totally agree with you. Let him ask the question. Let him ask I like that. I like that. Go on. Exactly speak up, bro. Stop being a witch. Yeah. Shout. Okay, you speak about liberation, about liberation theology. John Paul II actually, um, John Paul II in the 80s actually rebuked, I think it was Leonardo Boff, because of his book on liberation theology. Now I'm all for liberation theology, but can you tell us what do you mean by liberation theology? Yeah. So, um, the brother is exactly right. Liberation theology, when it was first framed in South America, was framed in the idea of creating solidarity with the poor. It uses as its basis the essential narrative of Exodus, the idea that God is liberating the impoverished slave to liberation on a land of their own. And from that, it calls the church to stand in solidarity with the poor. Now, the reason, the reason why it was rebuked by the Vatican was because it said that rather than the sacraments being the central foci of Christian practice, the Christian foci should be focused around such poverty to the poor. My understanding of Christian liberation theology can be simply summarized as this. Replace the poor with the persecuted church, the persecuted Christian. Replace poverty with persecution and then keep everything else the same. I am not a Roman Catholic and so the rebuke that was used by the Vatican to its own priests does not resonate. A bishop, wasn't he? No, he was a writer. Okay, a theologian. He was a theologian. The rebuke given by the Vatican to this theologian does not resonate with me because I'm not a Roman Catholic. I believe that the foci of Christian practice should be solidarity with our own brothers and sisters in what we do politically, in what we do economically, in what we do socially. And that means that amongst our brothers and sisters, those who are most in need are the persecuted church and thus they come at the very top of the list of those people we should stand in solidarity with. Okay, one last question and then again I have a short break. Any more questions? Okay, God bless. I'll have a few minute break and then I'll talk again.